Great to have you with us for the last game of the day. It is great to be back at the ACC tournament. Leshevsky averaging 14 points, eight rebounds a game. And Durham, well, he can really block a shot as he turns and fires, and he knocks in the first one. Forrest with nine rebounds, so Juwan Durham having a lot of confidence against his team, feeling like he can have a big one. Uh, beautifully done by Williamson on the baseline for the reverse. So you see the first three offensive possessions for Notre Dame. The ball has ended up in Juwan Durham's hands once he scored, once he's missed. And the other was a turnover. He's a Winston-Salem native. Lucius wants the ball in tight, following his own miss a couple of times. And one, he'll be at the line. Witt will kick it out. Here's Musius. Little contact, lays it in. Very determined move into the paint. Took to Twitter and he said, look, it's always darkest before dawn. Don't be so quick to forget what the year was like before we won our ACC championship. You know, bringing food to dorms, etc. But more importantly, he was shocked by the fact that those students would do something like that and really appalled by it simply because of the relationship that Mike Bray has had with the student body. 28-point game, had a 27-point game against Georgia Tech. But only twice in the last 11 games for him has he taken double-figure field goal attempts, so. Down the lane, Williamson for two, and Wake looking really confident here in the first half. Jogo mishandling that pass, well, tough pass down around the ankles. Long one by DuBose, and they just keep on raining shots. See him on Thursday. Who is your player of the year? You get a vote in this, Corey. Who did you pick? Well, if that were a test, I got a 50. I talked to him later. There was no talk of, Ho of Moses Wright as ACC Player of the Year at that time. And again, you're talking less than a month ago, and all of a sudden, you know, six great games. Love Moses Wright, and I'm not upset about him winning the award at yeah, all. Not at all. Congratulations yeah. to him. And again, there, there was no wrong answer to that one. There, I think it was a multiple choice question where more than one of them could have been correct. Different people covering the ACC tournament here in Greensboro, you get five different answers maybe on who should be the player of the year. Nice touch there by Jogo. He had an outstanding game. But zone defense now for Notre Dame. And one of the things, this Wake Forest team will shoot the three. They live by it. And <laughs> when you've got them going in off glass wow. from the top of the key. <laughs> positive outlook as Allison talked about for private. Durham rolling inside and he'll get two. They continue to funnel the basketball to the big guy. 9 to 18. I couldn't agree more about Mike Bray. And that big personality of his. And I'll tell you guys getting involved in this thing right now is the freshman from Raleigh, Carter Witt. You've got to give Wake a lot of credit for not only the wins that they had this season, but more importantly for the way they've approached this ACC tournament. And an impressive first half by the Demon Deacons of Wake Forest. Nicely done there on the bounce by Masood, the 6'8 sophomore for two. Masood and Masood, who's knocked down eight three-pointers in the game this year himself, has the ability also to finish at the rim. Showed us a bit of that going over the shot blocker in Durham. Ah, Cormac Ryan talking about UNLV in this Gonzaga team this season and the comparisons between the two in your mind. I believe that they are very similar to UNLV 30 years ago. Start with the confidence you have to have to go to Stanford from the beginning. Okay, that's <laughs> <It's> number one. <laughs> we, we'll start there yeah. and then to go to Notre Dame after that. I mean, yeah, I, I agree with you wholeheartedly. You know, thumbing your nose at the rest of the world. Like, look what I can do, you know, because he can. <laughs> Amazing. Oh. Out of the corner. Nice touch there by Masood. Dubose giving it out to Williamson. Under four minutes to go in the half. Boy, that's a tough shot. He's made a few of those tonight. DuBose with two. Guys, to every day before one o'clock, come into the office and check in with the coach. It can be any coach, and he just wants them to come by, say hello. ACC play. Wake Forest came in with 56 more turnovers than they had assists, but right now, only one turnover thus far in this game. So, for Notre Dame is when a team gets going and builds some momentum on the offensive end of the floor, they have a hard time stopping them as this number two steps out and knocks down another three. So the Demon Deacons with an opportunity to add to that advantage and blocked from behind by Jogo as he stuck right with him. 
And a shovel for Ryan, and they run the play all the way to the other end for two. Cameron Endor, we went for 21 in the first half against the Blue Devils. Ryan catches, fires, got it! Nothing but net with the triple. Dallas had mentioned earlier, Notre Dame's going to have to be able to get some stops against this Wake Forest team, but Wake Forest will be the team advancing, going to play tomorrow. Prentice Hub for knocking down his first shot. And he's been silenced to this point. But his production even greater than that over the last three games. 21.3 as Isaiah Muses is able to answer. Witt will launch and hit it. Boy, that was a confident-looking triple. Carter Witt. Ian DeBose, David Williams, and all these guys, Isaiah Musius, wow. much more confidence on the offensive end of the floor here in the second half. They can't get stops. They can't get back into this game. Good win. Banks one in on the drive. He's another fighting Irish shooter who hasn't shot much tonight. Uh, Jay and Dan will have the night sessions. Durham will fire and knock that down, and Notre Dame needed that shot. Wake on top, 59-46. And able to add on to that, and boy, are they looking smooth offensively. Notre Dame is not a great defensive team, so they haven't had much success trying to slow down the Demon Deacons. On target, Nikola Jogo, the 6'8 senior. He's had a very rough night. Kick outside for Williamson, and nothing but net from three-point land. It's the zone. You have to identify the shooters, especially once you get the basketball in the painted area. Great passers find shooters on the perimeter. And that's exactly what happened to Notre Dame's defense. Good one with an answer there out of the corner. Pulled off, and so did the Fighting Irish. Beautifully moved, but a great block by Durham. Up to penetrate and blows by everybody for the lay-in. This, if the Duke Blue Devils continue to win, more and more Duke fans are going to be here. Goodwin trying to pound it inside with a little turnaround. Hits it. Wit on the baseline. Williamson swooping in for two. Beautiful move. A lot of ties in the Winston-Salem area, which the familiarity, I'm sure, has helped David Williamson. Chesky with a pass late in the shot clock, and they make the basket anyway. Goodwin with nine points all in this half, Corey. And we showed a graphic earlier about the three leading scores for Notre Dame, and just like that, Goodwin has been able to get going, but neither Hub nor Lashesky has. Ryan lets fly and collects his own miss. Goes back inside for two. And for his performance, he's been great thus far, but... You see him, Gimpy, running up and down the floor. Joe goes, steps right into the triple. Joey Brackets, if the Blue Devils knock off Louisville in tomorrow's game, that means that Louisville would now be in danger of not making the NCAA tournament? Wake Forest on top, 72-63. And the kick into the corner, Williamson again will deliver. We'll talk about some key shots. He's made a number. Hubble let it fly, but it's in and out. Rebound tipped out. Now he's going to drive it and score. Up. Sips the pass. Goes to Durham for the easy two. Nice passing on the interior. And the go-to guy. He's going to spin again, but not this time. Notre Dame looking to cut in, plenty of time, five minutes to go, and a big drive there by Hub for two. On the iron, it will not drop, and Ryan comes out of there with it, in pain or not. He continues to play hard. Jogo gave it up, way downtown, and a triple. Hub with a three, got it! And he's tied the game at 75. Shot clock down to seven. Musius slicing in. No! Hub looking to make a move. Looking at a screen. Fires the three. Off target. Coming up on half a minute to go. Jogo from the corner. Can't connect. And Wake has it again. Now down to six. He makes the move. And a block by Ryan. Ryan across midcourt. Here's the long one, and the buzzer! 
How much time he had as Cormac Ryan pretty much just took over the last possession of this game, defensively getting it done, seeing the clock, and knowing he's got Trey Wirtz on his side and gets Wirtz a great look. And I love the reaction by Trey Wirtz going to Cormac Ryan immediately, recognizing what his teammate just did to help Notre Dame win the game with the luck of the Irish.